sure they expected big things there out of uh, Nate at 158, and uh, and, I, and I thought it would be a more uh, a much more competitive uh, bout than it was. But let's face it, whenever you jump up a, a weight, you're tussling with bigger, stronger kids. Zaleski had nine points in the first period. A takedown. He had three near falls. He had two more near fall sets in the last period. Nate Carr got a takedown in the second and a takedown in the third. Actually, out of those 20 points, Dave, Jim Zaleski and this crowd at Hilton Coliseum is sitting here stunned as Iowa is rolling it up on Iowa State in what was expected to be much closer at this time. It's it is Iowa 17 in the Cyclones 3 after Jim Zaleski really put it to Nate Carr, 20 to 5. An amazing show there by Jim Zaleski, who is just tougher at 158 than Nate is. He's bigger and a lot stronger in that way. If he wrestles that tough in the Nationals, uh, he'll have a good shot at that national title. You bet he will. Ricky Stewart or no Ricky Stewart. In fact, he's beaten Ricky Stewart already once, as we said. Zaleski had only two takedowns in the whole match, and he had a zillion near falls. 17 to 3. Here we are, 67. Dave Fitzgerald of Iowa against Tim Brown of Iowa State. There's Dave Fitzgerald, who's had a terrific year. He's only lost three times in 23 matches. He uh, is a senior from West Davenport. He beat Tom Pickard in the match down at Iowa City. Tim Brown was at 158. Rather interesting, you know, you have a you have a young man no, no, no. Uh, Step in and out. Center, as uh, good as Dave Fitzgerald here. He doesn't get a lot of the publicity and notoriety of some of the others, but uh, if you're wrestling with such uh, talent that the other teammates have, uh, that's understandable at times. But this Dave Fitzgerald is a, is a very good wrestler with only three losses. Uh, that's got to be super for the competition they compete against. Very strong. They're wrestling in the sight of the 1982 National Championships. Tim Center Brown. mat at Hilton Coliseum. Brown is in on a beautiful single, single leg uh, with a trip. He's a good technician. Tim Brown is. If he stays with it, he can always he can wrestle tough. His biggest problem one. is in the down position. Two to one. Two to one. He's in again, but uh, didn't finish the move. Fitzgerald wisely got the hips back. Fitzgerald is very strong. I'm not sure that Tim Brown wants to do that. I am not either. Rob. And he wasn't either, as a matter of fact. He went to the leg. A minute and a half. <laughs> well, I would think that uh, watching Tim wrestle Turn. before, he'll have to get uh, get out in front here on his feet uh, because in the down position, he's not to wrestle as well as perhaps he's capable of. Fitzgerald uh, has had 19 big wins this year, and uh, I'm sure that he's he's looking for another one tonight. Tim Brown of Miami, Florida. Dave Fitzgerald, as I said, from Davenport, Iowa. One minute left in the first period. Scores two to one. Brown out in front, looking for an opening. A lot of different tie-ups and setups from that Center. neutral position. Each boy looking for an opening where he can get good penetration, good position, score the two That's off of it. Again. Arm pulls, arm jerks, drags, head shucks, body throws. The least little mistake uh, of either one sets up a situation for the other. They're in that uh, bear hug situation again, and Brown won it, but I think he was out of bounds. There's no points yet. There they're out of bounds. Which one? I don't know if he want to throw with uh, Fitzgerald. Well, I was going to say uh, he does, but uh, both uh, these boys are strong, and I, I would venture to say they'll have to have good position to, to get that throw. Otherwise, uh, the boy's countering is strong enough to stave off some of that. It could work in reverse direction. End of the period. A little duck under attempt. You You're might winning. get a, a stalling call against uh, Fitzgerald. Got a wrestle. Hey, last. They know it. End of the period. Choice. Choice. 
All right, Fitzgerald gets his choice. Yep, top, second period. He'll go up. Tim Brown will go down. This is... Uh, I don't, don't know the writing time. The score is one or two to one. Okay, green. All right, second period. I'll keep you posted on it, okay? I don't know it. No, I don't. It's, it's not running up above, okay? Stay set. Top. Yeah, apparently we are having trouble with riding time. The clock's not working on riding time, but they are keeping it on a separate clock. And Tim Brown is out. Stand up escape. Then he well, looked like he was going to fire in for a double, but uh, Fitzgerald blocked off underneath. Well, that's been Tim Brown's weakness this year for Iowa State is on the bottom, and uh, if he learns to get out, he could do very well. That's right. He's always been tough on his feet. He's a good technician. Yeah. But that down position has been his weakness, as you say, Doug, but uh, not that, on that move. There is Jay Robinson, part of this, well, I'd say monumentally successful Iowa program. All right, ready? See some of his experience, and he was an outstanding wrestler himself, of course, in international competition as well as collegiate. Brown three to one leads, a minute and a half to go in the second period. There they are, uh, tied up across the back again, keeping the hips back, looking for a throw. No action there, book up. Stalemate, boy, it's a 17 to three meet. Yeah. Iowa State won at 150 and that's been it. This match right here is being pretty closely contested. 3-1, uh, favor Brown, Iowa State. He drops it on a single, but uh, Fitzgerald tries to move in around behind. They're still scrimmaging for the takedown. He's got the wizard on uh, Brown now, and he gives him the hip, faces off. One point. For stalling. That's half a takedown, I guess. I guess so. Four to one, Tim Brown leads. Stalling call, it was warned before. This time it was a penalty point, so Brown now leads four to one. Again, locked up across the back this time. This time it's won by Fitzgerald. Yes, and over. a pin right there. Holy cow, what a turn. What a turn. They locked up across the back, and Fitzgerald wins by a fall with, let's see, two minutes and... Well, they make it five minutes and 21 seconds. Let's Here see. Here it is. They're locked in. Both boys are locked. There's the body throw right there by Fitzgerald. And he puts uh, Brown to his back. And he's got him tight, locked in there tight. And there's the fall. One second fall. That's all it takes. Both shoulders to the mat for one second. Uh, and in fact, Tim Brown is hurt. The way he went down, we were talking about whether... Uh, those big body throws, you can work them and they can go against you just as easily. They sure can. And Fitzgerald, a happy man here because Iowa has really been cruising in this big duel meet at Iowa State. Well, Brown had the lead here, you know, uh, in this match, but both boys were tussling for upper body moves and there it is right here. Takes him off his base, gets him off his feet, puts him to the mat. Notice how he's got that arm locked. Got it deep, chest to chest, pressure's down on him, there's your fall. And of course, Brown was uh, slightly injured in the process. And a little gesture there to the 